Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited to welcome you to today's presentation. Uh, welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer and RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we are going to be looking at a fantastic pre-owned opportunity. This coach has less than 10,000 miles on it. It is a 2021 Renegade Verona LE LTS. And as usual, I like to start my videos from the back. So Marlon, please go ahead and take her on back. Now, no one fret. Don't worry. We do have Jody here with us today, uh, but we have some big game hum hunting happening uh, with Avin. So I hope he's having a great time and tuning in with us out there in Africa. Uh, so today, as we would love to have a special guest videographer, we've got Marlon. Uh, Marlon, go ahead, turn that camera around. Let's get a picture of that fantastic mirror. So one of the things I really like about this unit is exactly this. Go ahead and go up. Let's take a look at that picture window. This is such a nice feature of this coach. It really opens it up all the way through to the front. Uh, this is the LTS. So this is gonna be a mid bath, mid entry, and it's got the best layout here of the closet. I love this setup. It's so nice. Look at all four of these really big drawers. So really nice full extension solid maple drawers. This is the spiced brandy um, finish. And then if you'll note that there's this dovetailing all the way down on the LE. So you've got these really fantastic drawers and having four of these makes for a really, really nice amount of storage. And then on top of it, you have huge wardrobe closets. And I love that the sliding bar goes all the way across in the LTS. So usually you'll have two compartments, but as we all know, it's so nice to be able to kind of smush one thing from one side to the other, and you still have the removable component here. So if you do have anything like a longer ball gown or I don't know, wetsuit, depends on what your flavor is, everything can fit in here. Um, I'm joking about the ball gown, but to be honest with you, if you were somebody who did travel for a living that needed to bring things with you, this is a really luxurious coach. I love the fact that we have the ceiling fan in the LE uh, version of the Renegade. I also love, this is the iRelax mattress. I thought about getting something to cover this so that I could show you um, what it would look like covered. But honestly, one of the things that's nicest about this coach is the condition of this mattress. It's practically new, there's no stains on it. And then over here on the right hand and left hand side of the coach, you will have a 110 outlet as well as two USB outlets. And you'll also have a nightstand above that. And you can see that backlighting behind those panels as you go up. So there's just a little bit of light coming out all around here. So you can see there on my fingertips. And then from back here, there's a little bit of a backlight. Just a beautiful, beautiful uh, finish here. And this is the Spiced Brandy again. Here's our overhead cabinets. And I want you to note, like this is a coach. This is a 2021. We sold this coach new. I do have the original. Uh, MSRP of this vehicle. So if you would like to uh, take a look at how it's equipped, um, I can email that over to you as well. Um, but this is such a great testament to Renegade. Look at how solid everything is stood up. Uh, the shades, both day and night, still stay down. Uh, this trim here is called Blackberry Vine. When I came in and bought my Renegade Verona in 2020, this was by far my favorite interior color combination that we had and remains to be that till this day. I mean, I don't think that they've ever come up with anything that is as classy and unique as that Blackberry Vine finish. So I really love that. Now what you'll notice over here, when we look down at the floor, one of the nice benefits that you get in this LE is this solid tile floor. So look at this beautiful high polished porcelain tile. And then on top of it, you have your hydronic heat vent here. You also have a courtesy light. And then you'll also have your central vac. Now to the left of that, we have again, two gigantic, really nice drawers. Again, that dovetail finish, nice, completely solid cabinetry. Uh, back in the day, they still came with the um, wine guard system. And then also though the Blu-ray player, which is no longer included in the option, uh, the person traded that coach in has opted for, um, just so you know, another uh, LTS, or I'm sorry, not an LTS, Another Renegade Verona LE. Uh, this time they took home a 2024 uh, V, or sorry, LRB. So um, it's a 38 foot LRB. There are a number of different um, coaches. Oh, I apologize. It's a 38 foot LDG. 
but regardless, a 2024 Renegade Verona Ellie again. So not with any uh, dissatisfaction with this product, just something a little bit smaller, something a little bit newer. So this is a great option for somebody who absolutely loved this coach and decided to go back into the relationship with Renegade again. That's of course a very strong statement. Uh, up here we've got our Samsung television. Uh, that is one of the things that you'll get on the LE is a little bit nicer equipment level. So uh, you've got all your Samsung products and even your microwave is just a little bit nicer. Uh, I love these solid pocket doors. So again, this is uh, that Spice Brandy finish, uh, which you can only get on the previous lineage of the coach. They've got new wood colors on the interior. So if you love this dark wood, where you can really see all the texturing in this maple. Uh, it's a great product to have. And look at, I mean, just the cabinet quality, how this is held up. Um, and I love the stacked stone backsplash here. Also, so my coach had the same dark uh, countertop with this beautiful undermount sink. You'll notice this is a seamless lip, so super simple to keep clean with a single pedestal on your faucet. Also very easy to keep clean. Again, three very nice uh, full extension drawers, one more shallow than the other two, but just a ton of room for stuff there and also underneath. And I think that one of the nicest features of this is if I was to close this door and I was to close this door, I could actually have my own little pocket here and still have somebody, make sure my snap is unsnapped, I could still have somebody taking a shower in the shower here whilst I was brushing my teeth or getting ready to go, or they could be using the facilities as well. Um, so you'll see here a very nice porcelain uh, San, uh, San Marin toilet, as well as a great space up top for all your extra, you know, black water tank treatments, all of your toilet paper. You've got a fantastic fan with a rain sensor. And the most important feature here, of course, is that if your husband is out of control, you just tell him to hop in the shower. And then when he's not looking, you close this up, magnet it together, put that lock in place, and then you can let him out whenever he starts to behave better. No, just don't, don't do, don't do that. Just kidding. Just kidding. No, um, I, I do really like the way that this shower works. Uh, you'll note that there is uh, also one of the nice features here on this seat. This is one of those twist on faucets. So you won't bump into that and turn the water off. In 2020, that was a thing. Um, in 2021, they fixed that. So that's a nice fix here. Also, you'll note that when you're doing your laundry, these cabinets open really wide and you'll have full access to your Splendid stackable washer and dryer while you're going down the road, even with your slides closed. So if you wanna do a little laundry, get things done before you get to your next destination, you can do that while you're driving down the road. Okay, so now we're entering into the galley area. One of the great things about this is talk about access to beverages. Bang, you have your refrigerator right here at the top of the stairs. So if you've got, you know, muddy feet, little kids who want popsicles, whatever it is, everything is accessed right here at the top of the stairs. Now you will note that this still has this nice round handle on it. Uh, they did away with the handles in 2022. I actually do like the way they look and they're round. They don't have jagged edges. So you're really not gonna damage yourself if you walk down the hallway. And when we see this coach closed, you'll see how much clearance we have with the slides closed. It's gonna give you a ton of access to that mid bathroom. Um, another great feature of Renegade is when this is unlocked, you'll note it's blue. When this is locked, it's red. It's very easy to know whether or not you have locked your refrigerator and your freezer. So this is a great feature. Uh, you'll keep your, having your doors pop open while you're in motion. And then here above, we have so much storage. And I just love to see how solid these hinges are, how solid this cabinetry is. Uh, for those of you who are looking for a forever coach, this is it. For those of you who are looking for something that's gonna maybe jiggle to pieces and fall apart that you might not be able to keep forever, don't buy this RV because this is a super solid, highly crafted RV. If you want something that's gonna be disposable, that's not gonna last a long time, that's gonna give you an excuse to move on to a new product, this is not the coach for you. This is the kind of RV that you can buy and drive for the next 20 years and everybody will still turn their heads when they see that anthracite, super C chassis 
pulling into the campground, you're still gonna be the best looking coach. Timeless, timeless, timeless exterior and interior finish. Okay, so this is the big reason that we like an LE. So the Verona is also one of the best purchases you can have on market. But the difference between a Verona LE and a Verona is going to be full tile floor, but more importantly, you have this extra slide. So this is a three slide unit. Um, this coach goes all the way up to 40 feet. Um, this is the mid bath, mid entry model. One of the things that's nice about having that mid entry, of course, is not only access to beverages, but also you have all of your apartment space or your galley space unencumbered by the front door. So you've got a ton of room here. Uh, these booth dinettes have such a comfortable seating position. So when you're sliding into your booth dinette and you're sitting back with your margarita and you're having a conversation with your friends, maybe watching the game. Oh shoot, you know what guys? I didn't put the TV lift up. Let me go ahead and get my phone out. I can put my phone, um, uh, I can line this up with the Firefly system. I can adjust my slides. I can put out my awnings. I can take a, my look at my tank measurements. I can put my TV lift up and down. I can control all of these things with my phone. And this is a 2021 RV. So keep in mind where other manufacturers are just coming to the game with being able to, uh, to operate and monitor their tank levels with their phone. Renegade did this from the beginning. They've also done some really uh, fantastic lighting it you'll see here so both with your overhead uh, dinette lights and your wall sconces very very uh, timeless nothing too ornate or froofy and nothing too blase or uh, how shall we say cheap looking these are nice high quality finishes they also have the ability to turn on and off with just pushing a button here so you're not relegated to having to have your phone or using a switch and then on top of this you'll see we have 12 feet of storage space and these hold those little plastic shoe boxes that you get at the container store so well. Um, in my coach, the way that I did it is I took those containers and I would label them A through Z. So I might have one that has F for flashlights. I might have one that has O for outside kitchen. So then instead of having to like group them all together in a sensible fashion, I could just know what the label on the box was put it back accordingly. And if somebody came into my coach and said, hey, you know, I need to get the spatula for the barbecue, where's that gonna be? I'd say, oh, it's towards the end under O for outdoor kitchen. And they pull it out and you'd have, of course, like your little, you know, uh, clamps to go on your picnic table, all of those things in that one box, but a great storage system that you can do up here because you have such a deep, nice, uniform space the whole way across. Now also you'll note that we have the theater seating option. But one of my favorite things about this is, first of all, a hard surface and a cup holder. Because if I'm having a glass of wine, I may not want to put that in my cup holder. If I have a bowl of chips, it's nice to have a hard surface to put it on top of. But most importantly, if I have more than two people, how fantastic is this setup? So not only do I have a couch, but I also have a really nice, comfortable recliner. So I can have the best of both worlds. I could have my husband laying down with his head on my lap and still have my feet up watching my movie, or I could put my TV down altogether and just have the kids out here having a great old time. And when I do that, because of the fact that we have this third slide, you could really put in a king size uh, inflatable mattress here and then a full size in the front of the galley and have extra sleeping accommodations for so many people. Now you can convert the booth dinette into a bed, but honestly a mattress is so much easier because you can pick it up, bring it to the back, throw it on the bed, and it's cleaned up and ready for your camping day. And then when it's time for bed at night, you just pick it back up, drop it on the floor. It's already set. It's got the cover on it. You bring out the pillows, you're done. Good to go. Check this out. Look at the size of this fireplace. How incredible is that? I mean, I was so excited um, about the fireplace when I came in this unit. Um, a lot of times we'll have people who just go ahead and, and do the shallow storage that you can have underneath there. But I think it's so nice to have that fireplace. And I want you to note that that fireplace really does put out a good deal of heat. So for those of you who want to have that warm, snuggly feeling, because of course, during the evening, if it's nice out, we're out by the fire pit. But when we aren't out by the fire pit at night, it's probably because it's cold and drizzly and rainy. 
And you all know how that camping trip goes. You'll have five perfect days, but there's gonna be one night that just isn't the great weather. Come in here, turn on your fireplace, sit back, watch a movie. If you're entertaining, you've got this huge, huge, uh, vast kitchen area to put all of your goods. If you wanted to have like a burger station where you had all your toppings, and then you could have your sauteed onions over here on top of your true induction cooktop. Uh, this two burner uh, cooktop gives you a ton of room for really big uh, bowls and, uh, and pots and pans. So if you're making like a lot of eggs or bacon or anything like that, you can really fit a lot of things on this true induction and its overall setup. And again, with the LE, you have the Whirlpool microwave and convection oven as well as the air fry feature. So for those of you that are concerned about where to put your air fryer, it's already built in, it's right here. Great way to do a little bit healthier cooking. You still make your French fries, uh, but without having to have all of that grease and you don't need to bring a fryer with you. Um, so great uh, storage over here as well. And then I love um, this sink. And this is a really an unfortunate thing. Uh, starting this year, we went to the uh, porcelain undermount sink, uh, or no, sorry, not porcelain, but the, uh, uh, the stainless steel undermount sink. I love this dark finished bowl. I think it's so classy looking. Again, with all of that really elegant backlighting that's coming out from behind here. This is just a very, very rich kitchen with a ton of storage. So full size trash can, your coffee pot, uh, some mixing bowls. I mean, really all of the big items that you always struggle to uh, find homes for are here in this Renegade. The silver ward drawer makes perfect sense, nice and shallow, that's all you need. Bigger drawers down here for any of your oven mitts, maybe mixing cups, spatulas and the like. And then a big drawer here for all of your supplies that you're gonna have. Um, oh, <laughs> this coach does have all of the remotes. So if you were wondering if it was missing a remote, no, it has all of the remotes. Um, the one for the fireplace, the one for the sound bar, the ones that you have for your Blu-ray player in both the bedroom and the front. And then I love this literally, you know, this classy, I remember the first time I walked into our Verona with this really classy carved sconce, you know, and this beautiful uh, under light that you, or backlighting that you have for all of your accent lights. And I was just so impressed with the prestige and the quality of this coach. And the more time I spend in this industry looking at the competition, you can dress things up, you can make things look good, but what Renegade does that's different than everybody else is this coach is quality through and through all the way down to where the wheels meet the ground. Um, the two-wheeler steel construction, the welding, the amount of love that goes into the labor of building this coach is, uh, is outstanding. Um, I just took my third factory tour uh, this week and uh, you know I have to tell you Adam, Tim, thank you so much for your hospitality. We had a great time and we learned so much but every single time, and this was an unplanned tour that we took, every single time we show up, we have that same fantastic experience where we go in there and they don't need to prep for visitors. They are just really working and getting things down the line and they're such professionals. They do such a high quality of manufacturing. It was just super impressive. So thanks for the visit, you guys. Uh, speaking of impressive, look at this beautiful pull-out cabinet. Talk about an efficient use of space all the way back to the edges without having to open the door and move things around and reach. They just, everything comes to you. And then here down below, great access to all of your breaker panels, all of your fuses. Everything is super simple, right in the middle of the coach. And then down below that, again, we have another hydronic heat, uh, heat plate here. So keep in mind, this coach is operating on, uh, so you've got two air conditioner units, 15,000 BTUs with heat pumps. Then you also have hydronic heat going under the coach. Now that is not like a hydronic tube underneath the floor. It's actually a tube underneath your bays, giving you a thermostatically controlled bay underneath. So that hot tube of liquids is going through uh, what is a 450D aqua hot unit as opposed to the 250D, which is a 65,000 BTU unit, by the way, which is really, really high BTUs. Uh, the Oasis system that Numar runs is a 50,000 BTU unit. So as you can imagine, 65,000 BTUs is a lot of heat, getting you really hot water. And you can use either your electric system or you can use your diesel burner system. If you're using that diesel burner system, you are going to get super hot water. When I see super hot water, I mean water so hot, you're probably going to have to turn it down. 
Uh, so really, really impressive um, hydronic heat on this coach that is coming out of the air that is pushed over that tube of liquid into the coach, but also keeping your pipes from freezing underneath the bay. Now keep in mind, one of the things that Renegade does differently than other manufacturers is they put their tanks here under the bed. So again, hydronic heat coming through here water here underneath and what's nice about having your water here underneath is it's inside of the coach so you do have a 110 uh, strips on your black and gray water tanks so you've got 150 gallons of fresh water that is basically the two 75 gallon fresh water tanks that you see under the bed and then you have a 75 gallon black water tank and a 75 gallon gray water tank as well with heat strips on those so this is a very much a coach if you want to maybe go snowmobiling or be first chair this is the kind of rv that you can take up into those colder temperatures and not worry about having it freeze um, another different feature about this coach versus what you'll see on the market these days renegade made the option of the uh, bunk over cab available in the following model year so in 2022 you could get a bunk over cab renegade verona le for the first time but what you lose in that is all of this great storage space you also have a more aerodynamic cap. So this is called an aero cab. And after they started making that option available, I think it became very difficult to find a coach that had uh, the uh, bunk or without the bunk over cab. So these aero cab units are hard to come by. Also, you've got your equalizer leveling system up front as well as your magnum inverter. So all of your power sources, but keep in mind all of this stuff you can see on your phone, which is super nice. That little light needs to be, it's a flicker. We got a flicker there. Uh, and then here, of course, we have all of the additional storage and these are on adjustable shelves. So it's not like you're relegated to this space. You can move these up and down depending on what you're keeping up there. I know that in ours, we had like all of our books for birding and the like. Um, now something else I wanted to mention. So these chairs do swivel. So they turn around. They have armrests on both sides. So they're very, very comfortable. As you can see, this looks like it's brand new. I love the quality of the finish on these Renegades. And then on the left-hand side over here, you can see that we also have our heated seats. Now, a lot of people are uh, buzzing about the new M2106 Plus chassis. So what's changed on that chassis? Let's talk about that. The M2106 Plus chassis takes all of those same integrated features that you have. For instance, this coach has the Mobileye lane tracking app. It also has the Wabco um, distance control. So all of these same features are on this coach. They've also integrated a, uh, a TPMS sensor into this chassis. The funny thing though is Renegade did all of this way, way long ago. This is a 2021. All of the up upgraded features that you have in terms of that chassis, that M2106 plus chassis, already on this coach. The only thing you really don't have are the steering wheel controls, but I have to tell you, one of the things I think is so nice about the current, uh, the current execution of the M2106 chassis is the way these buttons and dash uh, controls are all spread out. Very easy to see your brake controller, very easy to you know see where your windows are. You can kind of know where everything is. It's like a keyboard when it's spaced out appropriately. You know what's in front of you and where everything is. Um, in the new coach, they've taken all the buttons and kind of squished them over here. Um, you have your Allison transmission is going to be the same Allison transmission. You're going to have um, your same uh, ability to keep your, you know, left hand turn signal, your right hand turn signal, your rear view monitor on this camera. Um, for those of you that are into watching your clearance when you're going down the road or who want to keep a camera on their Jeep, understand that here at TransWest, we do it all the time. We could very easily install a second monitor for a Voyager system where you would actually have a dedicated camera monitor. Um, that's not on the MT106 Plus chassis. Honestly, I thought that that was going to be the big change uh, when I had a chance to go to the Newmore dealer meeting this year and take a first look in April at that M2106 Plus chassis before anybody else had a chance to. I cannot tell you how surprised I was when I came in and found out that they still have not integrated a second monitor. So that's something that we can do for you here on this used unit. And one of the things that's so nice about this coach is this coach has 9,757 miles on it almost 9,758, but like I said, under 10,000 miles. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. 
So as usual, when we turn our coach on, we let the needles go all the way up to the left. And then after we do that, we go ahead and we wait for this little engine light to turn off. After that engine light turns off, give it a few seconds. Now we'll go ahead and turn on our engine. After we turn on our engine, we can go ahead and see um, how our camera system works just by putting everything into reverse. So let's go ahead and do that today. So here's our rear view camera. And then when we put our signals on, you can see what you can see on the right and left monitor. I guess I have to be in drive, but that's right here. And then here's your left. So these are all set up into your Garmin system. And keep in mind, this Garmin system can be taken off of the pedestal. Uh, so you can have somebody doing input for you, uh, but really, really nice feature. Um, and then also keep in mind here where you have all of your dash is very much the sim that you've got a slightly larger uh, display panel here but for the most part this coach is very very similar in its current execution you're going to have your 360 horsepower you're going to have your 1150 foot pounds of torque your 20,000 pound towing capacity your 100 gallon fuel tank all of those things are going to be the same on this engine as they are on the 2024 in that plus so I um, wanted to just cover that stuff because I think that's important. If you're wondering what this is for, I would highly recommend. It's all pre-wired for a Cobra system. So if you want to do, you know, breaker breaker and sign in with, uh, some, with somebody on your, uh, on your CB, you could get that going for sure. Uh, we will take a look at the air ride seats from the outside, but right now we're gonna go ahead and exit the coach this way for Marlon, and then I'm gonna go out the front door and meet him there. So let me just open this door for Marlon. Marlon, on your way down, if you would be so kind as to show that beautiful, uh, well lit where it says uh, Verona LE. And then also make sure on the way out, you show that your courtesy lights on the right and left side, as well as your fire extinguish, fire extinguisher. And then this is where your house controls are for turning your house batteries on and off. And also if you need to push a button to use that house to start your engine because you've got low battery, someone has to hold that down. Or as Grant Russell would tell you, you could just use tape and push it and hold it down if you're by yourself. But I do think that that is one part of this coach that could be redesigned. Now as I come out here, uh, one of the things I wanted to show you is first and foremost, look at this step. So this has got this nice grippy feature on it. These steps are so much better than anybody else in the industry. This is after this coach has literally been on the road, out there camping for you know two and a half, three years. Such a nice thing that they're still looking this way. You do have your dual fill here. And then also you'll note here that we have our slides painted on the interior to match the striping. Again, I love, love, love this paint scheme. This is uh, by far the most popular paint scheme for Renegade. This is the anthracite. And then as you'll see here, completely easy access to all of your filters, all of your engine. And we have again that three piece bumper up here in the front by Freightliner giving you that breakaway that you have. You also have a standard uh, clear mask or diamond shield is what they'll call it from Renegade. So great feature there. Also, you've got your integrated fog lights and then there's that Wabco uh, receiver again. So this Wabco system that you have on this coach with this radar system that is giving you all of your distance control is the same system. They do this for the Detroit system too. So when you see the new Detroit systems coming into these coaches, keep in mind the parent company behind that system is the same Wabco. So they are really uh, integrated into this coach through and through. Um, and it, they continue to be in the industry uh, just under a different name, but they are still making the new M2106 Plus uh, driving system. So this coach is very much ahead of its game by Renegade. So this is again your Aquahot. 450D, you can see that we're right between hot and cold for our overflow sensor. If you mentioned that I am um, the in inspiration for you buying your RV from me on this video, I will give you a free gallon of that aqua hot juice. Very important to have that. That's what, that's what operates your hydronic heat, your tankless hot water heater. 
Um, all the things that make your coach nice and toasty during the winter are run through that big boiler system. Um, and then take a look at these doors. I mean, the way that these close with this dual latch system, look at the cleanliness of these compartments. Again, this client came back in for another Renegade Verona LE. So they didn't even feel the need to upgrade an engine or go faster. Uh, this coach made it through for them. Just a little bit different floor plan. Uh, and as I said, super, super clean interior. Really nice storage. Really nice finish. Uh, one of the things that the LE has that other coaches uh, like a Verona do not have is the door control. So if you want to leave your keys inside the coach, I think that that's a really nice feature that you can do that. And then you'll see here, like they've got these little, little, uh, little things so that you don't bonk your head. You've got these little reflectors. So when you're walking around at night, you're not going to have uh, the head injuries. Now here you'll see we have our outdoor uh, sound system and this is going to have USB players. Again, Samsung, all of the remotes, and you can also take this and Bluetooth it to your, uh, to your phone so you can listen to the radio or you can listen to your phone or watch a movie, whatever's most convenient for you. Oh, we have a question. Hi. Go ahead. What's your question? Oh, okay. So uh, the average burn rate per hour is about 0.67 gallons if you're running it on the highest setting. Um, so you could really, with 100 gallons of fuel, uh, get out there and stay camping for way longer than you'd have water or gray water. Um, but yeah, so pretty, pretty low consumption rate. And keep in mind that Aqua Hot system is going to get you up to temperature and then turn off, so it won't be running the whole time. Uh, but yeah, so the average burn rate on the Aqua Hot system is going to be 0.67. Um, and I'm sure that, you know, depending on how cold it is, it might adjust up a little bit higher or go down a little bit lower. Like if you're in California and you're dry camping in the desert, you're probably not going to use that same amount of heat. But we have one more question. Go ahead. Oh, I don't know. Um, continuously. Well, I mean, okay, so the question is how long have I continuously used the AquaHot system? A lot. I mean, so if we, when we were up at Ship Shawana, um, visiting Renegade the second time, we camped there. It was really cold. I think like, it was like 36 degrees, and we used it the entire time. It's a pretty solid system. Um, the LE has the 450D versus the 250D, which I will certainly say has a uh, nice ability to keep you um, a little bit warmer. It, it definitely is a little more powerful than you're gonna find you have on the, uh, in the 250D, which comes on the Renegade Verona. I had a Renegade Verona, um, so maybe we had to run ours a little more continuously, but when I ran it, it kept us plenty warm. Um, we did have a system uh, where we ran out of aqua hot juice, but of course, I gave myself a free gallon and it was no issue to get on the road. I will tell you, if you haven't put it into that container before, you may want to use a turkey baster. So probably not something that you have laying around your coach, but certainly something that you might want to have on hand. Um, but yeah, if you're concerned about staying warm, this coach has got no problems there. And I think it's also, um, the 450D has been a really, really tried and true uh, aqua hot unit for Renegade uh, this whole entire time. The 250 has had definitely a few ups and downs. This third generation seems to be a little more reliable, uh, but the 450 has always been pretty fantastic. So, um, oh, here's the little hoses for that um, for the vacuum cleaner. Keep in mind, this can also be used outside as well. And then here in the back, oh, and thanks for tuning in and thanks for the questions. Let me know if you've got any other ones. Uh, here in the back, you're gonna notice that this is gonna be a little bit different than what you see in our 2024 model. So I really love this really beautiful fiberglass end cap here. I love the definition. I love the way that it runs the water down the center as it drops off. You still have your two piece system here. So if you do have a little oopsie, you can replace this rear bumper without replacing the full assembly. And then keep in mind as well, you've got your reversible ball hitch 
that carries again 20,000 pounds with 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. Now this is the same engine that you'll see in the Dutch Star with 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. Everything uh, that's running on this L9 is going to be, for the most part, across most of the product lines in the RV industry. So this L9 engine is pretty common. It's a true workhorse. Same thing with the Ellison transmission. Got our surge protector there. Uh, please do note that your power reel here is 36 feet long, but it's very conveniently located at the ass end of the coach. And then if you don't put this in place when you're driving down the road, um, these, uh, these power cords do tend to what I, do what I call leak, where they'll kind of drop down as you go over bumps. And if you don't have that cover and then your cord starts to drag, you can do some pretty significant damage uh, to your power cord. Speaking from experience. <laughs> So this is an 8,000 watt or eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator by Onan. Uh, this one has 557 hours on it, so very low usage. Uh, of course, um, we fired it up yesterday when we were showing this coach to a client that came in to see it and uh, fired right up, ran it for about two and a half hours just to make sure it was in good condition. You got an extra water hose in here. You will need to buy a new sewer hose. We will not provide that for you. As you can see here, this tank looks the same as the day it was purchased because all of that is carved in with a water jet. Whole house water filter will be replaced with our PDI. Here is your black tank. And then I'm pulling this slide in just so it's a little easier to show this to you. But keep in mind, I'm pulling this slide in because we are going to look at the walking um, room in this coach before we exit this vehicle today. But I also wanted to show you that from outside of the RV, um, I have closed both the front uh, passenger and driver's side bedroom slides with my phone. So if you're in a position where you get to camping and the kids are asleep and your wife's, you know, getting all of, you know, the uh, other provisions set up for dinner or whatever it might be, it's so nice that you could come out here and actually make sure you're not going to hit a tree with your awning or with your slide and just use your phone. So complete dexterity here. Um, now, please note that this is a used coach, but like there's a few little marks, like some paint blemishes on this. Overall, though, when you look down the body of this coach, very, very light use, uh, very, very clean, um, very, very well kept RV. Um, there's a few little nicks and bumps and scratches. If you want to know what those look like in advance, give me a holler. I would be happy to do a FaceTime video and walk through with you on this RV. Um, I think it's really nice to be able to actually speak with the sales associate that you'll be meeting with in advance and to do a live video. If you do that, when you come out to see a used RV, you're not going to have any surprises. And we all know that when you're buying something pre-owned, surprises are not your friend. Now, so let's talk about this. So this coach is ahead of its time. Again, here you've got your beautiful Dragon Dragonfly 100 amp hour um, batteries. You've got three of those. So that's a great feature that you know you, you only find uh, this lithium early on in the Renegade product line. They're one of the first manufacturers to bring that to the market. And then on the left here, you've got your two chassis batteries. And then again, dual fill tanks, Look at the condition of these steps. This is just so impressive. Uh, you got your engine heater. You do want to plug your block heater in when it's cold. Um, I think that that's important. Um, there's a little chip here on the paint. Again, just such minor wear and tear on this coach. This is where you turn your chassis batteries on and off. And then this is a swivel release. You do have air ride swivel seats. And again, really, really nice. Uh, controls here for your armrest. I'm just going to go ahead and unroll this so we can get it open. And you can get these really set to the perfect position for you so that you can be comfortable with them. And I think that, you know, that's just so nice over having to put your arm up here on the sill. And then as you can see here, you got your adjustment for your steering column and a very, very easy to enter cab. So very clean, very easy to enter. Not a lot of, of clutter around this uh, around this entrance. So lots of handles to help you get up and into that cab when you're trying to get into the cab. And again, reflectors throughout the coach, making sure you're safe. And then here, you'll have your jump points. You need to jump your coach, they're right here underneath. And again, easy access to your fuel and water separator. All of your maintenance on this L9 coach, you can see that Cummins engine there in red, married to this beautiful Freightliner M2106 chassis. Uh, now here we are looking at stock number five U 
231-453. Again, 5U-231-453. This couch was traded in on Saturday. It will go fast. If it's something that you're interested in, I would highly recommend uh, reaching out to me and getting a hold of me as quickly as you can. Uh, this kind of product is hard to come by in the marketplace. Like I said, this is one of those coaches that will last most people forever. So um, to be able to have somebody who wanted to come in and just modify their uh, their life with the, with the size of their coach, but had a perfectly nice vehicle. Um, this is the walking room I wanted to show you. Uh, for anyone who has been on the RV market, so for instance, I have a 2022 Superstar right now. Um, my walking space is about here. And then I'm kind of like squishing through the middle and it's totally accessible. I can get to the bathroom, but this is so much room. If you needed to pull over and camp at night, uh, this would be a great coach where you could actually be in this coach with your slides closed. Uh, Marlon, do me a favor, hop down on that step. I wanted to show the access here to this rear, um, this rear bathroom. So as I mentioned earlier, this is as narrow as it gets. You can do all of your laundry. You can get to your restroom. If you needed to be able to get into bed, you could have your bed be right there and accessible. You wouldn't be able to walk around or open your drawers. So that's important. Get anything out that you need. Uh, before, like if you wanted to get your jammies out because you knew you were staying at a Walmart and you weren't going to put your slides out, get those out before you before you head to your next destination. But super, super great room. And then I think Marlon's telling me we might have another question. I'm going to go ahead and hop out so we can end outside. I hate ending on the inside of these coaches. <laughs> What's our question, Marlon? Hello. How low of a temperature can you go in this unit? So the question is how low of a temperature can you go in this unit? Um, I would say that you can go pretty darn low. I think anytime you get close to freezing, you know, you want to make sure you're presently in the unit. If you're plugged into uh, 50 amp and you have your hydronic heat running and then you have your backup burner going, you're going to be fine even at those below sub-zero temperatures. The biggest thing though is you have to know that you're relying on your hydronic heat. Uh, so if you're not present, I would never leave my coach unattended in those low, low temperatures. So for instance, if you were gonna go snowmobiling and you knew you were looking at a day where it's gonna be negative three, that might not be a day to leave your coach unattended. Uh, because if you have a failure of those systems, you want your water systems not to freeze. All of that being said though, we've got a lot of people who use this uh, for snowmobiling. And um, I would say that, you know, most of those people are out there in the teens and the 20s. So I think you could really easily uh, take this coach into pretty good uh, Arctic temperatures. Uh, usually around here, like we'll have people, I had someone pick up last week in uh, a Dutch Star. It was nine. Um, there was no issues whatsoever. You know, we had water on board, full camp, plugged it into 50 amp. And uh, yeah, so yeah, you can be really cold in these coaches. This is, this is very much because of the fact that you've got a thermostatically controlled bay with that hydronic heat system. As long as you know that that system's up and running, you can really go into those subarctic temperatures, temperatures and really be comfortable in your coach. Um, the, glow, the, close, the coldest I've ever been is probably 12 or 13 degrees. But even then it was totally fine. Like I was not cold at night on the inside. It was just cold outside in the morning. Um, okay, so again, uh, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name, of course, is Katie O'Neill. I usually come to you live on uh, Mondays. I'm joining you here on a Tuesday at TransWest Truck Trail RV. You can reach me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. I actually had some clients in from uh, Fresno yesterday coming out to look at Super Seas. Uh, we're, it was an easy in and out single day trip, made a lot of progress. Uh, I'd be more than happy to help you from wherever you are in the country uh, to get exactly what you need to get out on the road and camping. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great rest of your week.